Hi, I'm Barb Coloroso. It is both a joy and an honor to once again be presenting at the Fathers and Family Conference on Parenting with Wit and Wisdom. We want to raise young people to be able to think for themselves, to be able to stand up for values and against injustices, to be all that they, they can become, not what we want to become, that's so narrow-minded. You and I can't even begin to dream the dreams this next generation's gonna dream or answer the questions that'll be put to them. They are truly a gift to us and we have to treat them as a gift. We have to be, as they make mistakes, as they will, as they fall down, we have to be there not in front to rescue or over them to punish them, but to be behind them and guide them with discipline, which means to give life to a child's learning, to show them what they've done wrong, give them ownership of the problem, give them ways to solve it and leave their dignity intact. We'll look at the difference between discipline and punishment and how one works and the other only appears to. And again, I'll be talking about very, very young children all the way through the teen years. We're also going to talk about how to use that stuff of everyday life, mealtime and bedtime and chores and sibling rivalry, uh, the basics of parenting and media and its influence on our young people today and what we can do to help them make healthy choices, responsible choices and compassionate choices. When that high status social bully says to all the other girls in grade eight, I don't like the new girl. You wanna be in my group, don't eat lunch with her. I want your daughter to be the one to say, that's mean, that's cruel. And go sit next to the new girl. She will do that at cost. But if you've walked your talk and talked your walk with her, she'll understand that the best thing she can do for the other person and for herself is to stand up and speak out when there's an injustice or harm. Or your son in the locker room when his friends say, look at that kid over there, different skin color, religion, gender, physical or mental ability, let's go mess him up. I want your son to be the one to say no. When the burden's heavy, when his friends say, what are you, chicken? What do you just like them? But again, how do we do that? It's by walking our talk. Do we stand up for values and against injustices? Do our children see us doing that? Do we give them those six critical life messages? I believe in you, I trust in you, I know you can handle this. You're listened to, cared for, and very important to me. If we can give them those six critical life messages, then I think it's very important that we give them to ourselves because we are worth it. If we are ever gonna teach our children that they're worth our time, energy, and resource, it takes to help them become all they can become, then we have to be willing that, to say that for ourselves. I look forward to seeing many of you at my session um, and thank you for listening.